Hello, hello, hello there. Welcome back to Grandma Ray Don't Play, and I'm Rachel. Okay, so let's make a banana pineapple pound cake. A banana pineapple pound cake. Okay, I love to show you this. I love for you to hang around, and I'm looking for more people to subscribe. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up, and give me a comment to let me know how you like it, okay? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks. Okay, so we're going to be using this Betty Crocker pound cake mix that we're going to add other ingredients to it. Okay? Okay, and I'm going to be using a Ninja to mix things in. So let me just open up the mix. This mix is 16 ounces, okay? Betty Crocker pound cake mix, okay? So now it calls for a half a stick or one fourth cup of butter. A half a stick, okay? So I have a whole stick here that I'm going to cut in half. So we only need a half of a stick. Okay, I'm going to put that right in the Ninja. And now we need two eggs. I have two eggs here. I want to make sure you can see, so I'm going to back everything back. Okay. Okay, I have the two eggs here, and we're going to just beat this with the fork and put it in the Ninja. Okay, now we're going to add one cup, one cup, which is a half of a can of crushed pineapples. This is a 20 ounce can, so I'm using half, which is 10 ounces. The other half we're going to save for uh, the topping, okay? Okay, so I'm going to put the one cup of crushed pineapples in, juice and all. Okay, now I have some uh, bananas. I'm using two ripe bananas. Two. One, two, two ripe bananas.
Okay, now I have some vanilla, I mean, sorry, banana extract. Banana extract. I want a nice flavor, so I'm going to put uh, a half a tablespoon, one half tablespoon. Now it calls for one third cup of milk or water. I'm going to go with the milk. This is low-fat milk. You can use whatever kind of milk you like. Okay, that's one-third cup of milk. I'm sorry, it actually calls for two-thirds cup of milk or, or water, but I'm only using one-third because I have to compensate for the liquid in the crushed pineapples, okay? So in our case, we're using one-third cup of milk, a half a stick of butter, two eggs, um, ten, a half a can of crushed pineapples, a half a tablespoon of banana extract and two bananas okay so let's mix this up okay the ninja is loud I'm gonna let you know that in advance Okay, let's do it. I'm going to hit mix. not totally mixing on the sides so I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna push things off the sides to help so everything can get mixed in nicely you it's dripping slowly but yet it is coating the spoon see okay so we're good that is mixed enough now I'm gonna get a, a pan and we're gonna put it in the pan one second okay so here is our banana pineapple pound cake 
in a pan. I put oiled the pan with olive oil and took a paper towel and wiped the olive oil around the pan. If you have Pam, you can use that. Okay, so we're going to cook this in the air fryer. See if this is going. Yeah, to go in. Okay. So I'm going to turn it on. Let's cook it on 350. And let's start out on uh, 15 minutes. Okay. So I have it, the temperature of the air fryer on 350 in the time set for 15 minutes. Most likely we'll need more time, but I want to check it at that point. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, our air fry is about to cut off. And I want to put a knife through the cake to see if anything comes off on the knife. If some cake batter comes off on the knife, it's not done and we're going to have to cook it a little longer. So let's see. I see the word off. I'm going to stick the knife in. Okay, so you see it has cake batter on the knife. It's still wet. It's not done. So I'm going to cook it for another. Let's go another 10 minutes. On 350 temperature. And let's go 10 minutes. Okay, I'll leave it for 15. We'll do 15 to 15. That's a total of 30 minutes. And I'll, I'll check it. Okay? So let me give you the word of the day. The word of the day. The word of the day is, so you're hungry. The word of the day, you're hungry. So you're hungry and you want something to eat. The cheapest thing to eat is what's in your house because you already paid for that. You don't know what the tab is going to come to if you go out to eat and what you'll pick up along the way at different of the stores so the cheapest is what's in your house enjoy that because you know why you wanted it when you bought it so now try eating it that's the word of the day eat what's in your house okay okay our banana pineapple pound cake is out the air fryer I cooked it for a total of 35 minutes. It was 30 minutes in your presence and then I had to add another 5 minutes because it was still wet when I put the knife in it. Okay, so it's all done now. 35 minutes in the air fryer. Alright, so now let's make some frosting. I have, I'm going to be using some confectionery sugar. pineapples. So I have a half a can of pineapples left. I'm going to put one fourth of that in first. Baby steps, right? Okay, that's about one fourth of a half of a can. Alright, now I'm going to put the confectionery sugar in. And this box is one pound. Okay, I'm going to put this on mix. And I can see it's moving loosely. Yes. So I'm going to add the balance of this confectionery sugar because you know the pineapple is a citrus so it's going to definitely um, 
bring something to the table in terms of the taste and also liquid. Okay, so I have the whole bag of confectionery sugar in now. Mix. sides and it's still pretty loose I want it loose but not like watery loose because I want it to at least stick to the um, the cake okay now you know pound cake you don't have to have a frosting on it you can leave it um, without a frosting if you like Give me a second. Okay, so I have some whipped cream cheese frosting by Duncan Hines. I'm going to add some of this to try to tighten this up. So this is one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three four tablespoons I don't want it thick I just want it enough to stick to the top of the cake It is coating the knife. Ah, can't hold it. See? It's not falling off. Okay. So that's the consistency I'm looking for. I'm going to let the cake cool down for about 30 minutes or so. And then I'll come back and frost it with you. Thank you. Okay. So our pineapple banana cake pound cake is cool now. It's been cooling for about an hour. So now let's put the frosting on it. Now this is our pineapple frosting that we made up. Just putting it right over the top. So you notice how when the cake cooked, it left an open space on the top. When you frost it, you don't even see that. Like so. Okay, I'm gonna taste that and then I'll put it in the refrigerator after I taste it for you, okay? Let me get a plate. Okay, let's take a taste. Banana pineapple pound cake. nice and moist. I definitely taste the pineapple and the banana. Very moist. It's a nice complement to a pound cake because it brings the moistness out of it. Oh, I taste that banana right now. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay guys, I brought it home to you. Why don't you try it? See if you like yours, okay? So you don't have to mix. You don't have to use uh, banana and pineapple. You can use peaches, blueberries. So you can see as many varieties of um, cakes that you can make. Okay? Alright, thumbs up. Share the video. Talk to you next time, okay? Much love.